Right, bit of a messy area here, but I've just been uh, propagating some plants and potting up and up potting stuff. But I thought I'd do a update on the Urandodanics that we propagated earlier in the year. And I should have really sort of checked how long ago I'd done it. I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be about two months ago now. So this is what they look like now. And uh, in fairness, they've done quite well. So let's pull a couple out and we'll have a look. Get it in the sun for you. So we've got a best case scenario and one that's a little bit slower. So this, this propagation I can see was taken from, it wasn't taken from the main stem cut and it was taken from a side shoot of the main plant and hence why the, the main this is not a new growth this is an old growth so hence that's why that sort of died off a bit but we can see from that dying off stem that we've got two new shoots in fact some of the main stems haven't actually died off at all that's, uh, some of the leaves have, but the main stem is still going strong as well. They grew roots pretty quick. So you, we've managed to keep the main offshoot from the, the main cane alive, plus new growth coming as well. So we've got off that one stem cutting, or offshoot cutting, we've got new growth there and a second new growth coming up there. So that has done quite well and this one would be off uh, a cane cutting so just a three or four inch chunk of cane which was just sat in water in the greenhouse for three or four weeks for to, for, for to shoot and to get some roots and then as soon as we've got roots we potted it up so this is all brand new growth so for a couple of months, I don't think that's too bad. So these these were the two main shoots. And we've even got a third shoot coming off that now. So yeah, they've done well. Um, we are getting towards the end of the, the growing season now. We're, um, sort of just past the first week in September. I am keeping these fairly moist. I've got them in a drip tray here with a, about an inch of water in so they've got constant contact with some water because uh, while they're quite small they can dry out quick while the, the weather is still warm so um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 pots from one cane not too bad all the pots have got at least three uh, five growths in them and uh, yeah some of them are really looking quite good and really good variegation so I will be um, keeping a few myself and planting some in different areas in the garden and also I will be selling some next year and I do propagate a lot of stuff to sell just to to feed my habit on um, buying new plants basically so I'm not being greedy and trying to grab money off people I'm selling them at a really cheap price which I you know in a way help new tropical gardeners out in a way because I'll, I'll do them I normally look at how much they charge for in the shops and I'll at least half that price and also that also funds my addiction to buying plants as well so this year I have managed to buy um, a couple of decent specimen palms and lots of other plants and I've still got money left over from what I've sold this year so I haven't actually spent any of my own personal money so that is that is uh, what I'm trying to achieve I'd, times are tight nowadays and we have to be a little bit careful in what we're spending especially with the gas and electric bills this winter um, another thing which is 
more than the, the wife's project. But um, pomegranates, all doing well, I've just repotted a load of them up. Starting to get into nice little plants now. So these were all grown from seed last year. They do actually flower and set fruit, believe it or not, in the UK, if they're in the right position, you know, full sun against the I know, fa uh, south face and wall or something like that, they'll they'll do quite well for you. Um, I'll leave it at that because I'm just going to do an update on the Rando Danics really. Um, give you a quick look at the, the mother plant because uh, you can see what they grow into if you, you're not familiar. Yeah, monstrous. And these are well over three meters, some of these now. Really substantial plants at the front here. I have got some uh, bamboo as well, but in fact, I don't know if you can see from this angle. The, the taller canes were from last year, but if we look behind that, there's a three or four really nice sized ones, but they're not much shorter. They're all this year, so in one season, they're hitting two and a half, three meters, and really big, nice variegated leaves. So really quite a nice plant, nice uh, in the wind, you know, that nice rustling sound and uh, nice variegation. And the, the leaflets are, you know, pretty close to two foot long and a good inch and a half, two inches across. So that they are, bit more substantial than bamboo and a bit more interesting I think. Anyway, that's just an update for you. Thanks for watching.